What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another VGC video. Today we're doing the sequel to my obsession with Basket Legion video series uh, by starting my obsession with Weirdeer videos. Uh, it's probably just gonna be one, but I wanted to talk about Weirdeer as a concept or a wordier. I'm gonna call it Weirder. We'll just call it Weirder for now. Uh, but I wanted to talk about the potential it has for stats in the upcoming uh, Gen 9 VGC meta if they don't patch it into Gen 8 VGC since of course there is no um, VGC on Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's gonna be one or the other. Likely we're just gonna play with it in Gen 9. However, I still want to talk about it because this thing has a lot of potential going forward. So yeah, we're gonna talk stats, abilities, moves, and how I think it could function as a Pokemon uh, going forward in the games. But before we get into that, do me a favor. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. How would you make weirdier stats or what would you do to it? Would you give it a new ability or anything? Let me know. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, Stantler. We have to talk Stantler first. The same way we talked about Barrascuta, or not Barrascuta, uh, Basculin in my last video, we need to talk about Stantler and why it's so underwhelming as a Pokemon. It's time just to tear into this beautiful deer. So. Stantler is a pure normal type. The fact that it wasn't normal psychic came as a shock to me when I was younger because I was like, why does it get all these insanely psychic-ish moves? Like it gets Shadow Ball, obviously, which is a ghost move, uh, but it also gets like every single psychic move in the game. Here, let me read it out to you guys real quick. Here, I'm on Pokemon Shadow right now. It gets Calm Mind, Extra Sensory, Light Screen, Psychic, Psy Shock, Reflect, Rest, Trick Room, Zen Headbutt, Dream Eater, Gravity, Hypnosis, Imprison, Magic Room, Roleplay, and Skill Swap. It has so many psychic moves. Like, obviously, it's just a pure normal type, but I'm pretty sure the amount of normal moves it gets is comparable to the amount of psychic moves it gets. It also has a pretty decent special attack stat, 85. However, it's mainly leaning into its attack stat at 95. Overall, the rest of the stats are pretty underwhelming, and I mean, like, the attack and special attack are also pretty underwhelming, but this thing's middling in speed at 85, has pretty bad bulk at 62, 65, and then 73 in HP. And the only thing really making up for that bad bulk is the ability Intimidate. And it, I, I didn't realize this. Every single one of Stantler's abilities are absolutely bangers. Like, they are just straight bangers. Like, look at this. You have Intimidate, which means it's great on lead for just lowering the attack stats of opposing Pokemon. It has Frisk, which is amazing in best of one. I've made an entire video about why Frisk is amazing in best of one. You can identify items, and especially in, you know, Dynamax format. Uh, that's really huge for identifying weakness policies. And it also has Sap Sipper, meaning that there's a potential to have a grass immunity and also to just gain a, a boost in attack every time you get hit by a grass move. So all three of these abilities are absolutely phenomenal, and I actually would not change anything going forward with evolving it into Weird Ear. But everything that this thing does, something does better. Uh, there are better offensive physical normal types. There are better uh, Intimidate Pokemon in the format. There are even better Trick Room setters, which this thing gets Trick Room, and I don't know why. Like, honestly, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad. So... How would I buff it? Let's let's talk about my ideas. So, obviously, the design for Weird Ear looks quite a bit older. So, I would assume... I mean, look at it. It's an old man. It's got a beard. I would assume that this thing would lose some speed upon evolution, which would ironically make it better because it'd be better under Trick Room. Uh, it needs a significant increase in bulk to make use of Intimidate uh, effectively. Like, you have Pokemon like Incineroar, Hitmontop, and Scrafty, all of them with Intimidate and also very good defensive stats, where this thing... You know, Stantler has, like, no bulk whatsoever. It's got 62 in defense and 73 in HP. It's not taking hits even after the Intimidate. And obviously, this thing is going to get a minor offensive buff. In my opinion, if I gave it too big of an offensive buff with its normal psychic typing, it actually might be a little bit too good as a support Pokemon because then it'd be able to hit way too hard. Um, it basically just enough for it to be able to hit with its stab moves. Like, if it gets Hyper Voice, if it gets, like, uh, Double Edge or anything, I need it to do... A, like a solid amount of damage you know maybe like 110 for like what snorlax has or whatever like something where it can hit decently hard with a powerful move and also it's probably going to become a mixed attacker uh, a lot of the lore surrounding this pokemon claims it has intense psychic energy or just very powerful psychic energy so i would assume the special attack would get buffed especially since it's becoming a psychic type it needs to have uh, access to a decent special stat to make use of the variety of strong special psychic type moves and like I said, every single one of its abilities prior to evolving is already absolutely great. Like, all of them are phenomenal. So I don't think there's any need for a new ability here. So what I've come up with, what I've come up with here, if I could open up the image file on my end, 
Um, of course, it's just like a slideshow on your end, but here. So we have Weirder. It is a normal psychic type, obviously. I kept all the abilities, Intimidate, Frisk, Sap, Sipper. I think they're all incredible, but the base stats I've actually increased to 100 HP, 105 attack, 80 defense, 115 special attack, 85 special defense, and 75 speed. I obviously could have made this thing a lot better. However, it is not on my wish list to make a broken Pokemon. I want to make this thing a very good support VGC Pokemon. Of course, I'm a VGC channel, but this thing would also be pretty good in singles, in my opinion. So why would this specific build of Weird Ear be really useful in VGC? Well, as a normal and psychic type, it does obviously have that immunity to ghost, which other psychic types do not, making it a lot easier for this thing to be able to go for Trick Room in the face of something like a Dragapult. Um, but obviously, it would be checked by Pokemon like Urshifu because it is significantly slower. Uh, and yeah, like honestly, it just... It needs to be able to be bulky enough to set up Trick Room in the face of opposing Pokemon, which, you know, Intimidate will help out on the physical side. 80 defense, 100 spe or 100 uh, HP is pretty good bulk-wise. You know, you'll be able to run like a Pinch Bear in this thing. But along with Intimidate, it's, it's going to make its bulk comparable to something like Incineroar. Uh, 85 special defense obviously is not being helped out by the Intimidate ability. However, in, in a way it is. By having uh, the ability Intimidate, what you can actually do is bolster your special defense a lot more than you'd be able to if you didn't. Because a lot of things that you calc for, you can calc for at minus one on the physical side. As for attack, I decided just to boost it slightly. It is an old man. I don't expect it to, to hit too hard, uh, but I think 105 is good enough. Uh, it doesn't really need to hit hard on the physical side because I assume this thing's going to be a special attacker, uh, but it will allow it to hit things pretty hard with moves like double edge or um, if by some miracle they give this thing access to a fighting move, which I don't think they really will. I think it might get double kick right now, but that isn't really relevant. Then to be able to use it pretty effectively against Pokemon like Stack Attacka. Uh, but the special attack is what I really boosted. The original special attack stat on Stantler is 65, or not 65, 85. Uh, and boosting that thing by a whopping 30 points to 115 will make it so it can hit decently hard with stab moves like Hyper Voice or um, like really I want this thing to get access to Expanding Force. I think that'd be really nice. Um, but also it would make it so it's non-stab moves would hit decently hard. Personally, I think it's move pool is perfect. It just needs some of the newer moves that it doesn't have access to because it's not in sword and shield, uh, mainly just being pretty much just expanding force. Uh, however, I think that a move I would really like it to get that a lot of psychic types have been getting in generation eight is going to be mystical fire. I think giving this thing uh, a special fire move would actually help it out quite a bit, not necessarily in the sense that it'd be able to deal a lot more damage, but the fact that it's going to be an Intimidate Pokemon with access to a move that lowers special attack. Now, obviously, if this thing got Snarl, it'd be amazing. I would love for this Pokemon to get Snarl, but I don't really see a deer snarling at anyone anytime soon. So I think Mystical Fire is a nice little middle ground where it's able to lower special attack stats. Um, but it isn't going to be overly centralizing because it's not going to have access to something that can lower both special attack stats. So yeah. Uh, this is generally just my concept for Weird Ear. I don't know if this is exactly what they're going to do. Obviously, for all we know, they could just buff this thing's speed to be 130 for no reason whatsoever and give it like 120 attack. Maybe make it absolutely busted, but conceptually, I think it makes the most sense for this Pokemon to lean into its bulk and to lower its speed because of the design that it has and because of the lore behind it. I think it's going to have a higher special attack stat. I feel like this Pokemon would make like... I guess in VGC, it'd be um, sort of a roll compression Pokemon. It obviously wouldn't overtake Incineroar in a lot of teams, but the roll compression of having an Intimidate Trick Room setter that is immune to ghost types uh, would be phenomenal. Like, uh, consider if this thing, if this specific build of Weirder existed in the current format, it would be on so many teams. It'd be an amazing Calyrex Shadow Rider check because you're resisting moves from Indeedy, you're immune to the main stab that Calyrex Shadow Rider wants to go for, which is Ghost, and if you if you hit by a Psychic type move, you have 100 HP and 85 Special Defense, it's going to bounce off of you. And obviously, you could probably calc this thing to live a Water Spout. So, I could see this thing being insane in the current format if it existed, but obviously, this is just a prediction. So yeah, I think that Weirder has high potential going forward if they build something similar to this, but even if they don't, if they just give it some kind of minor increase into bulk and let it keep Intimidate, it would still be pretty good. Normal Psychic is an amazing typing, as we've seen with Pokemon like um, Indeedy or even Oranguru, like has been able to make use of its typing just by being able to set up Trick Room in the face of Calyrex. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Every like 
helps me out a lot. You know, I want to reach 200 for this video and obviously subscribe if you enjoyed. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.